Alright, now we're going to talk about the limit switch and adjusting it. If you have a thrower that just continuously goes around and around and around and around, it's this little switch right here you need to adjust. With these older ones, this version you see here is the first one we had. You can just use a pair of pliers and bend this metal arm to tweak it. So, if your machine is going around and around, you'll want to bend the arm so that it's closer to the motor. That way it comes in contact with the cam sooner and it stops the arm. All this switch controls is the motor and telling the arm when to stop moving. So that's the first version we have and how you adjust it. Now, here's the second generation we have. A little black micro switch with two wires and a short stubby arm that gets hit by this cam right here and that's what stops it. So with this switch, you don't bend the arm, that will actually break it, so don't do that. You just have to loosen the two bolts that hold it in place. And once again, if you find it going around and around and around, position it so it's closer to the motor. If it's stopping too soon and you're having to step on the foot pedal over and over and over to get the arms to advance just like that, then you'll need to position it away from the motor. And finally, our third version here of the limit switch on the Firefly and the most secure position for it is this. And when that arm comes around, it bends down that tiny little metal arm you see on the micro switch and it tells the motor to stop running. And how you adjust this one, same way. You can just loosen the two bolts here and position it up or down to change the timing. Thank you.